So hello what's up guys welcome back to another tutorial video. I hope you all are doing well. So in today's video I am going to teach you how to make a very simple all hostile mob XP and loot farm. This farm works on all the platforms of Bedrock. So I am really really sorry guys that I was inactive for more than a month there was no video. Uh, actually my exam started and I was busy studying. You all know. So I am again back at making videos. So further ado let's start the tutorial. So the items that we are going to need is 26 stacks of sword blocks, you can use any type of sword block, 7 stacks of scaffolding, 2 stacks and 40 ladders, 4 torches, 2 chests, 2 hopper minecart, 4 rails, 4 hopper, 1 trident, 2 stacks and 20 carpets, you can use any type of carpets, 9 slabs, 1 liver, 4 piston, 4 observer, 2 water buckets, 8 signs, 1 stack and 20 tinted glass and some temporary dirt. First find yourself a sea or a ocean, then using some temporary blocks like dirt, build up until you reach the water surface. Now place two dirt blocks in front of the top block and then place a torch on this block. Now come over here and build up until you reach Y level 227. After reaching Y level 227 place one block to your left and then one to your right. Then extend four blocks in front of you. One, two, three, four. Then fill in this outline. Now place one sword block over here and one over here. There should be gap in the middle. Now come over here and then build up until you reach Y level 231. And now place one block to your right, two to your left. Then extend five blocks in front of you. One, two, three, four, five. And now fill in this outline with sword blocks. Now just go down. Just make sure that you don't hit any platform. The dirt that you just placed. Now crouch down. And then place three ladders over here. Then come over here. Crouch down. And then keep on placing ladders until you reach the top. After placing the ladders to the top. Come to the lower platform. Then place two double chests over here and then crouch down and place two hoppers on top of it and then two hoppers going into those two hoppers. Now crouch down and place four rails on top of the hoppers and then for temporary purpose break the four blocks on top of the rails. Don't worry all of them will be collected in the chest. You can collect it from there. So now go up and then place a hopper in this platform and make sure to push it while going down and then try to place the second one and as soon as you will place the second one you can see that the hoppers will start moving infinitely the hopper minecarts and now you can replace the sword blocks that you just broke. Now place a torch on this block and one in this block so that mobs don't spawn at night over here and then one torch in this block over here. Now place a piston on that block, one over there, one over here and one over here. Now place a observer facing towards that way, one observer facing towards that way. Means all the observers should be facing towards the pistons. One observer facing that way. And the last one facing that way. Now you will understand that everything is correct by seeing the arrows on top of the observers. It should all be facing outwards from the pistons. Now place saw blocks in each of the four corners. So it should look something like this. Now take a lever, place on this block, flick it once. All should once flick. And then flick it once more. It should move infinitely. Now just flick it and make it stop. Whatever I'm saying, you see. Now place four sword blocks over here. Then three over here. Then three over here. Then come over here. Place one sword block over here. And then one upper slab over here. Now you are going to build up the same tube until you reach Y level 255. 
I'll place two signs in front of and then two more in front of those signs. Now build up one more layer and then place one water bucket on that corner and one in this corner. Now refill your water buckets because you are going to need them. And now you are going to build up until you reach Y level 263. After reaching Y level 263, check in which side this extended portion is. Now after checking this side, now go turn to your left and extend 4 blocks. 3, 4. Now do the same on the other side. Extend 4 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now fill in this outline with solid blocks. Do the same on the other side also. Now for the time being close this hole with some temporary blocks. And now you are going to make a one block high wall around this platform. But you are not going to place any solid blocks in this way. Only in this side and its opposite side. I mean in the length and breadth according to maths. Sorry, not breadth, only in length. Ah, what I am saying. Give it. So you are not going to place any sort block in this side. So first place a temporary block. Then place a sort block. And then one more over here. Then break the temporary block. Oh, one more thing. Don't forget to fill in the corners. It will look good. And nothing else. Do the same on the other side. Crouch down. Place a sort block. And then two more. And then one over here. Now stand on top of the wall, then pillar of 5 blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now you are going to make this 5 blocks long wall all around this platform. So after making the 5 block long wall, check on which side there is no extended portion. Like this, you are going to extend 6 blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And now you are going to fill in this area with sword blocks. Now make a one block high wall around this platform, make sure not to place any sort block in the front side that is in the extended portion. So it should look something like this. Now place one temporary block over here. Then a sort block. And now break the temporary block. And now you can extend this wall. So this should be one block outside the platform and no need to place any corner blocks and now place scaffolding in this whole platform you are going to place scaffolding in each of the block after filling in the platform with scaffolding you are going to extend the scaffolding platform one block outside the scaffolding platform I mean in the tube now ignore that scaffolding that I just placed not this one that below one I am I was just using it to climb up so you know that so it should be one block outside the platform as you can see now you are going to make one block high wall around this platform now you are going to make it all around this platform And now place three sword blocks over here and then continue this wall to the other side now place two over here so it should look something like this and now you break four scaffolding anywhere in the middle I'm going to show you how to place the waters correctly so you don't have any problem. Now place two dirt block over here, two over there, two over there, and two over there. Now place two water buckets in each of the corners and make an infinite water source. Now you are going to place water buckets in what place water in each of the block in this row so that the water flows straight away to the tunnel or the chamber that we just made after placing the water refill your water buckets because you are going to need them now fill in this hole with 
dot blocks then collect the dot blocks replace the scaffolding we broke now for the timing just don't break this uh, dirt blocks because it will help you later on now place the moss carpet or whatever type of carpet you are using only in the places where I am placing oh nice I was struck by lightning leave it only on the places where I am placing don't place anywhere else and now place a temporary block then a sword block then break the temporary block and just follow the process I am doing just follow the way I am placing the sword blocks make the same platform it should be one block inside the moss carpet and should end where this one starts and now fill in this outline with sword blocks and make sure to break the dirt now after making the platform place sword blocks on top of the moss carpets just tap on top of the moss carpet or just place side by side and no corner blocks okay also extend this wall around this side also now again place scaffolding again place water yes one block outside the platform again place water on the side in each of the block i showed you how to place water then place the moss carpet and there should be three blocks cap blah 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 just do it ah yes don't forget to place these three sword blocks and then extend this wall and then two over here so it should be always like this okay now then place the moss carpet then the wat uh, water then do whatever I just showed you now you are going to make the same platform two more times there should be total four platforms so make the four platforms then I will see you so after making the four platforms in the last platform on the fourth platform what you are going to do is first place a temporary block and then instead of using sword blocks you are going to place tinted glass now make this ceiling with the tinted glass because as you know the tinted glass um, uh, does not allow light to pass through it and uh, due to this one small change you are going to get extra loot your loot or the spawns in this farm is going to increase just due to one extra small thing that we are doing it will just only need a little bit of extra things like expensive block like tinted glass you could have used uh, leaves but leaves it would you will need a lot of leaves so the best option is tinted glass so after making the glass ceiling fill in this top with the uh, sword blocks also place moss carpet or carpet whichever you are using on top of the platform so that moss doesn't spawn over here now i'm going to show you how you can go inside first place a temporary block anywhere below then break these two blocks then place a temporary block over here first break that one then place one temporary block inside then replace the sword block and then just for temporary case place a torch then just go down and again place a torch over here these are our temporary torches now you can just go and break the if you have any placed any extra scaffoldings then break them and also break the top torch and break this extra scaffoldings now place two sort temporary blocks over here then make an infinite water source then refill your water buckets then place two signs on the front in front of these two blocks then two more signs in front of these two signs then place two water buckets over here in these two blocks it should flow towards the chamber now again refill your water buckets then break the infinite water source then place the water buckets in those two blocks and then break these temporary blocks that we placed on top of the killing chamber 
and also break the torch before going outside. Now break this slab, take a trident, point it towards the piston, then throw it towards the piston, then replace the slab, then flick the lever, wait for a few seconds and then again flick it. And now I'm like a slab roof on top of you so that phantoms don't spawn when AFKing at the night. Currently no mobs are spawning because my game mode is in peaceful but if uh, I will recommend to turn your game mode in hard mode to get much more not much more the mob caps remains the same nothing changes so hold a looting sword in your hand then turn on the farm if mobs are not spawning then don't worry mobs will start spawning as well you can see mobs have started coming uh, at first it may take little bit time for the mobs to spawn but then gradually the speed will increase and if still your mobs are not spawning then save and quit this world and rejoin and all the loots are going to be stored in this chest over here and if you want you can extend the storage system it's very easy just place two hoppers behind, uh, below the chest and then place two chests below the two hoppers so that is it for today guys i hope you liked this tutorial make sure to like share subscribe turn the bell notification on and suggest me what should i make in my next video Till then, it was Sinokia, thanks for watching.